absolute masterpiece from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga. Well, what would one expect from this deposit? Wowza. A young dolomite matrix, little bit of dendritic formation of heterogenite running across it. Back matrix, not all that appealing. I wouldn't display it flat like this, but let's first of all take a flat view on the specimen. I would stand it up with the main focus being this uh, interesting stalagmite, stalactite, having a core of uh, chrysocala or chrysocala in its core. Now, from a color point of view, it's very, very difficult in both the still pictures and the videos to get out this, this underlying bluishness. But if you look on the cross sections of the chrysocala, which is layered, you'll find the core is almost a turquoise uh, blue. And then you'd have a lighter, almost a powder blue around it. And then this, of course, on this black sections would be coated by tiny uh, uh, heterogenite uh, uh, waxy botroids. This, in turn, would have been coated by a layer of druzy quartz. And perched on top of the druzy quartz, you'll have macro crystallization of the likes of perhaps malachite in sections like that, or pseudomalachite are often found associated. And that grayish to blackishness in the background would be uh, 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 tiny, tiny, uh, uh, waxy black botroids of heterogenite trapped under the quartz. An exquisite piece, good size, must be about uh, two inches edge to edge, across maybe just under two inches. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Kantanga, little stalagmites, stalactites of uh, chrysocala uh, dusted with a layer of druzy quartz.